Hey guys, and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So look, this fantastic parcel has arrived. It's come all the way from Australia, the other side of the planet, from one of our lovely viewers who insisted on sending this over. They're called Kire. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Kire. Uh, but they insisted on sending this. They're very proud of their paleontology in southern Australia. And this is a theropod from southern Australia. So I'm really excited to take a close-up look at this one. So let's get it out of the packaging. Now there is a letter here. I'm not going to read the whole thing here. I hope you understand. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit of it. So it turns out uh, that this is a figure of the banjo. You can see an image there at the bottom. Uh, the banjo figure, which is an Australovenator wintonensis. And uh, it's a really cool looking dinosaur. Now, Kirei says this figurine is one of the best Australian dinosaur figurines they've yet found and far surpasses Collecte's version of Banjo in size and detail. I think the only faults found with this figurine, she says, is the lack of detail on the soles of the feet and the inner mouth. And there's a lovely image of Banjo there. Really cool looking theropod. And it's one of the most complete theropods they've found in Australia. I think it is the most complete theropod remains. So really, really exciting this. Now we do have a little uh, flyer there from the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum and that's the only place you can find this set. You can't get this figure anywhere else and it's got fair dinkum integrity too I noticed. So you can see there uh, Banjo Australovenator Wintonensis Australian Age of Dinosaurs collection. Just look at this figure. Wow! So cool. Um, on first impressions, it actually looks kind of like a Papo or Collecte quality. It's really, really good. We've got this lovely illustration of the Australovenator on the back, as well as a little diagram at the bottom telling you uh, the age in which it lived, which is in the Cretaceous period. You can see there's a little Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum on the side. And at the back, we've got an information card. I don't know if this is inspired by the Jurassic Park figures, but it comes with a little info card, which I think is quite cool. Got a little bit of a retro throwback there. So I am using a craft knife to open up the box. Remember kids, if you're using a craft knife, do get adult supervision. Let's remove that card as well. Okay, so taking a closer look at the card, you can see we've got lovely loads of information there, as well as a seal of authenticity. A lovely illustration of the Australovenator. I love the detail on this painting. This artwork is brilliant. I'd love to put this up on my wall, actually. I think I will. And that white stripe on the side is just such a cool piece of artwork. So here it is. Time to get it out of the packaging and take a closer look. So here it is, out of the packaging and on display. And this thing looks incredible. This thing is packed with sculpted detail. Really, really nicely done. Very bird-like, uh, very raptor-like, and uh, very predatory looking. I really love the paint job on it as well. They've done a really nice multiple coat uh, of paint scheme here. They've sort of done a dark wash over lighter colours, which really brings out all that lovely detail. Nice glossy finger claws as well. And just a really slender, predatory looking dinosaur. Really nicely posed as well. Really good contrast in the pose. So let's take a closer look, starting off with the head sculpt, you can see there's loads of detail going on, a really slender, elegant head, and actually the head shape reminds me of the Velociraptor concept artwork for Jurassic Park by Crash McCreary, it's got that same look to it. I love the mixture of coffee and yellows going on here, it's a really lovely paint scheme, and also these really nice sort of almost geometric patterns going on across the body, almost like a, an exotic leopard or something, it's really really cool. You can see the finger claws there, really nicely detailed and glossy as well. I love this white stripe on the side, and you can see the anatomy poking through there on the torso. The legs are really nicely defined, you can see the tendons there in the lower legs. Really love those feet, very bird-like, very ostrich-like. Just gorgeous detail on this thing. And like I said, when I first saw this thing in the box, I thought, my goodness, there's so much detail packed in. And it is very close to Papo quality. Um, as Kirei said in a message, apart from maybe the articulated jaw, this is a really nice figure. And it's not something that's readily available. You can only get it at this museum. So it's kind of like a, a limited run, really. Fantastic figure. Again, look at the detail on that foot. Lovely posing as well. Really gorgeous work. Nice airbrushing underneath. It very much feels like um, like a 
a predatory cat paint scheme that they've based this on, maybe a leopard or something. Very, very cool. And then as we come back up to that beautiful head sculpt. Okay, size comparison time. Let's whip out the tape measure. So we're looking at about nine inches long, which is about 23 centimeters in total. And in terms of the height, you're looking at about three and a half inches, about nine centimeters tall. For size comparison, let's bring in Rebor's recently reviewed Stan Velociraptor Baby. They look nice next to each other. And what review wouldn't be complete without Off Color Alan from 1993? I think they scale up really nicely next to each other. Thanks, Alan. There he goes. He's leaving the review table. So there we have it, guys. That was today's look at the very kindly sent over Australovenator Banjo from Kire in Australia. This is really, really cool, Kire. Thank you so much for sending this over. Love the figure. Love the detail. It's actually going on my desk. I think I told you as inspiration. It's such a lovely sculpt and lovely paint job. If you guys can, definitely pick this up and go and check out the museum as well. I'll put information down below that Kire very kindly sent over. In the meantime, guys, rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.